Uh oh. What's going on, little girl? The girl is looking at the darkness. You can't see anything in there. Careful. Don't get so close to the edge. The girl gives you a reassuring smile. Something is happening. Something that exceeds your understanding. A chill runs down your spine and you feel like throwing up, but the girl seems to remain awfully calm. In fact, the source of the terror seems to radiate from her. I don't like where this is going. The girl has attacked us. Still. Well, I don't think Loving Whispers is gonna work. I will try to talk. I suspect it will do nothing. Fast attack. You try talking to the girl. What is going on? She doesn't answer. Her eyes look for help, though. Also, she has an extra limb. Something is happening to the girl. She's rolling on the ground even more ferociously. Compulsory disfigurement. You feel an entirely new presence in the darkness. The god of fear and hunger is born. That's the name of the game. Okay. I do so little damage. So we're fighting another god. It makes sense, right? Because the little girl, she was the daughter of Legrand Legarde, or Legrande, and um, the other one, the other new god. So, like, a prophesied one and a new god. Pretty, pretty goaded family combo, if you ask me. Um, we're gonna save the chains. Let's start a Pyromancer's Trick. Just like beaten. 360. Trick. 288. Body needles. 20. Moonless, can you do something? The god, formerly the little girl, seems to reminisce about the peculiar doll that, doll that is still laying on the ground. Moonless, I need you to do something. Finally. Bleeding. 900 damage. Something is happening to the god. She seems to be in grueling pain and twitching from cold. The god of fear and hunger has taken a new shape. Let's keep throwing out those, uh, those debuffs. Or stacks. Alright, bleeding, 288. Burning and bleeding. 520 damage. Lay it out, Thirsty. 300. Something is happening to the god. She seems to be in grueling pain and twitching from cold. What the fuck is this? This reminds me of the god of depths a little, like with the passageway into the body. Alright, we got bleeding on. 333, so 500. Stampede of arms. Just... It's almost like an anime attack, you know? Let's use... Just a regular attack. And we'll have Tempest heal. Uh, Loving Whispers. Vega Jaw. 400. My fucking armless dark priest just beating, bringing the beats. Burning. Lay down the beats. 145. 300. I don't think we need to heal this turn cycle. We can wait one more. 140. Okay. 350. Alright, so we got the burning on, too. We'll heal Darcy after this turn. Holy fuck, 1100 damage tick. Dude, she's T-posing on us. She's T-posing. 
trembling in pain. Alright, um... Honestly, I think it's more important to get the fire debuff on. Because Darcy just isn't bringing the noise anymore. Uh, elixir of body. Good thing I bought some. She can heal herself. No, no bleeding. Purifying Ember, 31. 10. So we got Newborn God glances at you. Um, this is probably an instant death attack, so let's obviously use a lucky coin. Tail never fails. Oh, he managed to stay away from eye contact just barely. We have to, we have to avoid eye contact to stay alive. Think about that. Uh, loving whispers. Jagged jaw. I don't think we have the bleeding tech yet. Purifying Ember is 35. Darcy's gonna heal Tempest. Never mind. She didn't- we didn't get an extra turn with her, did we? Purifying Black Flames. 54. Six hundred. Okay, so Darcy has to speed up again. Um I'm gonna throw out flock of crows. I'm gonna throw out loving whispers on Moonless, and she's gonna fast attack. Vega Jaw. So now bleeding and pyro. Forty nine. 75, trembling in pain. Lucy's just not getting that attack. Um. Yeah, I'll use Elixir of Body. Here. And then after this turn, we can do one more Loving Whispers. So we have a stack of Self-Mutilation. 47. Okay. 780 damage. Glancing. We'll use another coin. Now things are getting sussy. Don't, don't, don't. Oh my god. Your eyes met with the god of fear and terror. Okay, it wasn't game over. It just broke Darcy's mind. That's fine. Skill. I'm gonna flock of crows. Maybe that might help. Purifying Ember. This is taking 33. Nope. Alright, we're all pretty low, actually. Um, Tempest will use... We can't drink in battle, right? Oh, we can. Drink you vial, bottle of whiskey, and I'll just use Elixir of Mind. Darcy will use Elixir of Body on Moonless. I won't kill her. Close, though. Tempest, skill. If he goes down, the whole show's over. I'll use light blue vial on Darcy. Oh, things were getting tight there. The party was victorious. If you enjoyed that fight, purifying flame that like button. <laughs> is at the edge of her sanity. The god of fear and hunger acknowledges your suffering. Boom. We drop. Drop like a bad habit. Level 10. The bottom. Right. 
I'd be crawling. Why do you resist? <laughs> the thought must have crossed your mind at some point. That you had delved too deep. Steep hosing on me. I thought that this would be a one-way trip. But instead of fighting the inevitable, why not embrace it? Just lay down and rest. There is beauty in this darkness that can be harnessed and used to usher something new. We have done it. We we have saved the girl. You never escaped the dungeons. Well, did we save the girl? I guess we did. Apotheosis counts, right? And this apotheosis was way sweeter than uh, my apotheosis. Your efforts would go unsung, but your part in the greater scheme of things was vital, nevertheless. You had a vital part in the birth of a new god. One that is not a mere new god, but one that rivals the older gods. Because keep in mind, the new gods are kind of betas. <laughs> like, literal mortars, mortals beat the shit out of them. You had the first-hand experience of witnessing the coming paradigm shift the world is to go through in the new era. An era of the newborn god, the god of fear and hunger. They'll come know this day as the Cruel Age. They'll come to know this day as the Cruel Age will come to know this day is the start of the cruel age. An age where a human-born god would finally rise after millennia of mankind's struggles as the feeble new gods. Maybe your fate was an act of mercy. The last traces of compassion the new-born god shed after her true ascension. Your demise was peaceful after all. It's true. Ending a might. Ending A, it's not minus, it's just A, the god of fear and hunger. 